My friends, welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. I hope you all are doing well. What I have here is the One Tigress Bulwark Tarp. I've been testing this out for over a year now. For the money, around 50 bucks, this is an excellent tarp. This is a three season tarp. It's a good size. You're looking at 12.8 feet by nine and a half feet. It's a good size tarp. In this episode, I'm going over my thoughts and feelings, pros and cons that I have for this tarp, and it begins now. Let's do a very quick component breakdown before I set this up. So if you purchase this tarp, this is what you're going to get. You're going to get the tarp itself, you're going to get some guy lines, you're going to get some tent stakes, and you're going to get a storage bag. Now, as you can see here, I don't have the storage bag. Luke, why is that? It's because it's so ridiculously small, once you take the tarp out of it, which is a chore, the tarp is never going to go back inside of it. What I've done, I've just taken a strap that has a buckle and I tension it around this and secure it. I also keep the tent stakes right here next to it. Speaking of the tent stakes, let's go ahead and open these up real quick. What you receive are six aluminum stakes. And now everyone, I'll set up the tarp and I'll bring you back. As you all can see here, the tarp has been set up and without a doubt, it's a good sized tarp. When it comes to the materials, you're looking at a polyester 210T taffeta that's been dual coated with polyurethane. The hydrostatic head rating of this tarp is 2000. And when it comes to the colors that this tarp is available in, it's coyote brown. Now, speaking of which, I have seen some odd reports online that some people who have ordered this tarp on Amazon have gotten an OD green version. Who knows why, but apparently it's been happening. The six tent stakes are made from aluminum. There are six guy lines, one for each corner, also for the ridge at both ends. The seams are taped with this tarp and there are 19 reinforced guy line loops, including three that go along the top. The weight of this tarp is two pounds, nine ounces, and that includes all of the components with the exception of the storage bag because I threw it away. Taking a look here at the corner guy lines, you can see that you have these plastic rings that go around the loops. That's interesting. You don't have these for all of the tie off points, just those in the corners. With the guy lines, you do have adjusters. With each of the tie off points, they are reinforced. And on the inside, there's a loop. So you can use that any way that you want to. For the ridgeline guy line point, there's a loop here, but it's very hard to access when this is stretched out. As I mentioned already, I've been testing this tarp out for over a year, and here are my thoughts about it. First off, the quality of this tarp is good. I would say it's not great, but for the money, it's good. Without a doubt, this is a tarp that can keep you dry in a heavy rain event. I have tested this out in numerous events, over and over and over, with numerous inches of rain falling, and I've never had an issue. Talking about the quality for a second, when this tarp is set up and you have some tension on it, you can actually see light coming in between the different panels. Luckily, that happens only in the corners. I've not seen that anywhere else. For a $50 polyester tarp, I can let that slide. Speaking of the materials for a second, the 210T polyester, this is a good material for three season use. I would not recommend this for strong winds or with snow loading. This is a three season tarp, late spring, summer, early fall. Next up my friends, the size of this tarp is excellent, again, for the money. There are plenty of tarps out there that are much more expensive that are made with the same material that are much smaller than this. Next up, the weight for this tarp, considering the size, is not terrible. Again, it is a polyester material, so the polyester has to be thicker, it has to be heavier to be stronger. So for a tarp of this size, two pounds, nine ounces, that's not bad. I should mention this, everyone, you can use this tarp in the fall, in the winter, but it needs to be during low impact conditions low winds, and small amounts of snow. Next up, everyone, the versatility of this tarp is excellent. You can use this for just about any sort of purpose. You could have a hammock underneath this, a tent inner to keep the bugs out. You could sleep on the ground underneath this. Multiple people can sleep underneath this tarp because of the excellent size and also the excellent waterproofness. Overall, the pack size of this is not bad considering the materials. I like the fact that each of the guy line points have been reinforced. And lastly, I like the fact that there are stakes included with this tarp. That's a nice touch, especially for the price. Again, the price on this is excellent and it includes everything that you need to set this up. And that takes us over to the cons that I have for this tarp. First off, the storage bag is nonsensically small. Once you've taken the tarp out of it, use it for something else because you're not going to get that tarp back into it. If they need to increase the price just a little bit to have a storage bag that's big enough to fit the tarp, do it. Otherwise, don't even include the storage bag. I have two more cons for this tarp. The first one being the guy line points. Each one of these are insanely small. They're less than an inch wide. So when it comes to like taking your guy line and actually tying to these points, it's difficult. Again, because they're so small. The next con that I have for this tarp involves the guy lines. They are 
frustrating to use, and here's why. First, the length of these is excellent. You're not going to have any issues there. But what you will have issues with is this. The guy lines are very fibrous, meaning that just about anything they come into contact with sticks to it, including sticks, limbs, debris on the ground. They're so fibrous that anything that comes into contact with them latches to it. And because of that, they also tangle with themselves extremely easily. You can take your time, you could fold this up, you can have all of those guy lines neatly into place, and as soon as you pull the tarp out, They'll just wad up, they'll just connect, they'll just stick to each other and become a big mess. If you purchase this tarp, I would not even use these guy lines. Use your own, use some 550 cord or something else, something that's not quite as fibrous as this. When the cord is under tension, it's not bad. All the fibers are pulled tight, but when it's loose, the fibers relax and they come apart. And again, everything sticks to it. With that being said, it's nice that one tigress included some guy lines, but at the same time, they're not very good. They're frustrating to use and there's certainly better cordage out there. If you want to replace the cordage, you can use 550 cord, that really works well. Or if you want to go ultra light, you can use Atwood micro cord. It is excellent stuff. You can also use Dynama cordage as well. With all of that being said, everyone, I can recommend this tarp for the money. For the money, this is an excellent tarp. The quality is good enough. The size is excellent. The weight's not bad. Yes, it can be approved upon. There are a few things that are stopping this tarp from being great. As it stands right now, it is very, very good. Again, folks, because of the quality and the materials, I would recommend this for three season use. That's what this tarp was designed for. That's what it's made for. If you're looking for a very strong tarp, I would recommend AquaQuest. They make excellent tarps that put up with the worst that winter can offer. So right there you have it, everyone. That's my review of the One Tigress tarp. Comment down below. What do you all think about this? What do you all think about the size, the materials, for the money? Again, I think for a budget tarp, this is excellent. I've been using this for over a year. It has gone through countless rain events and it's had no issues. All in all, I give it a thumbs up. While the tarp is not perfect, I can easily recommend it for its price. So folks, thank you very much for watching. Hit the like button before you go. It does help the channel. I will see you all again soon. Strength and honor, bye for now.